Good afternoon, all. CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday afternoon, January 5th. We are looking at Window Traders Market Profile of SPY, IWM, and Triple Qs. Okay, let's get going. A lot to talk about. First and foremost, here's a perfect reason why these numbers should be released at 8.30 in the morning. Why not? There's no press conference, no nothing. Release them, let the market digest, and then we get a good direction for the day. Instead, we got it. I can't imagine how many people got ripped apart in J when they got long, only to see this happen. Number two, what came out that's so much different? They're going to be monitoring conditions so when they think things are back to a level where they should start raising rates, they will. We know that. They said that the day of the rate announcement and in this press conference. There's nothing in that language that says any differently. So if they raise rates at the end of this month, who cares? We know they're going to raise them at some point. So the mindless machines and uneducated traders that just rip this market is mind-numbing. We had eight days that got trapped on the water. We took out last week's low fairly easily and didn't stop. Somebody asked me in the room, is this long-term selling? I'm not sure yet. All right, one day doesn't make a market. Volume's very good at 90 million. We go out with a uh, triple distribution day down. We go out with a price probe down. This is after we were seven for seven wide, and we just missed eight wide when Jay went up. But again, if this is real, quote unquote, big boys starting to get involved, you're going to know it because it won't be a one or two day event, right? We'll see if we get follow through tomorrow. We'll see if we get um, a consolidation tomorrow. Once the big boys want to start getting out, they'll get out and it's not going to be a one day event or a two percent move to the downside look what's happening right the, the tech tech was got crushed again down three percent they're rotating out of that right now why because they're the ones that are going to hurt, get hurt the most with rate increases we know that right the dow held up pretty well until you know late in the day when it got hit everything got hit but it's just a rotation in the market now in the bigger picture the monthly still had an outside month up, and to me, the monthly's still up, so it's still okay. But then there's cracks beneath the surface. The weekly now just went from up to balance, and there's a possibility of an outside week down. So if we close below last week's low, after hitting an all-time high the first week of the year, we have a possibility of an outside week down. That's a crack on the surface, right? The daily... I, I'm still calling the daily balance, even with this move. I had it up yesterday. To me, markets don't go bull bear. All we did was go into uh, balance. I'll show you on the chart. Now, as far as my trading, I'm disgusted with myself for two reasons. Number one, well, one big reason. I, I was, for people who know me for a lot of years, know I used to love these type of days. I'd be the first one to jump on that short in G or H period and ride this down. I'm sorry, not in G or H. Um, once I settled and K opened to ride it down. I've been so, in, my mind has been so changed over since the last two years where any uh, time we took out a time frame low, we got nothing out of it, that I didn't participate at all on this downside. I had a good day. I had, I had one short I took in, what period was that? H, but I didn't participate in this at all. J through M on the short side. Actually took some small longs at visual levels that actually paid me. I did okay money-wise, but that's not the name of the game. The name of the game is to do the right trade. And the right trade after J period was to be a seller. Okay, now J was erratic. It ripped up, ripped down. Still didn't know if we were going to have single prints. Well, I shouldn't say that. Towards the end of J, you knew you were going to have them. But once K opened should have started looking for shorts on any kind of push-up. So I am disappointed in myself. Um, again, early in the day, I had a long in A against value low from yesterday. That worked out nice, 475 calls. Um, I took a 476 call in B when I thought we were going to pop above A. I took it beforehand. It worked, got out right when we did it. That worked out. I took a long in G period because there's no tempo to the downside when we made a new low. 474 calls. That worked. Then I took a short in H. Once um, we had single prints, they filled them like, uh, I don't think, you know, I was comfortable because we were one time framing down. 478 puts. That was the only short I took all day. I took a long in I, 
because I thought we were going to fill the single prints, and we did. Made money on that one. The only loss I had was in K. When K opened, I thought we would get a stop, uh, a little bounce off the weekly low. Didn't get it. Took a small long. Got went straight down. Took it off for loss. But then I took a long in L period. A nice 50 lot. The first time we hit the 50 day moving average and bounced straight up 50 cents. I'm sorry, the 20 day moving average. Bounced straight up 50 cents when it hit the 20. Took that off. That was a nice trade. And believe it or not, I took a quick uh, long in M when the 350 algo spit out down, put a low bid in, got hit. As soon as the 350 came, it went right back up, took those off. But again, money's one thing, doing the right trade is another. Looking at this, I'm not happy that I did not participate on the sell side. Now, as far as destinations, tomorrow, upside, we have L's Low Price Pro, $469.95. Then we have single prints, $471.71 to $473.22. L's High to J's Low. Then we have um, the second set, $473.88 to $475.31. K's High to H's Low. We have our afternoon rally high, 477.98, J's high. I'm sorry, that's today's high. 476.91 is the afternoon rally high. And 477.98 is today's high. On the downside, we hit a daily low down at 468.28. There's still a gap down at 467.81 from December 23rd. A 47 point gap still there. 466.91, price pro from December 22nd. 466.24, nine wide from December 22nd. Then we have two sets of single prints. Remember, we had five sets of single prints in two days back in December. This one's 465.26 to 464.59, 464.11 to 463.93, and 462.58, daily low. And I'm going to stop there. Please write those down. If we look a lot lower tomorrow, then tomorrow morning I'll give the other single prints from December 21st. And then on the chart, <clears throat> so here's the monthly. We're only three days into the month. We had an outside month up last month. That's very positive. We took out this month's high. That's positive. But so far, what did we do? We took it out by a dollar, and now we came in by... $11. Now, just think about that. We're down $11 from the all-time high. That's not even 3%. So I know everybody's going to start saying the end is near and everything else. But let's put things in context, friends. We're still up in the monthly, and we only came off 3% from the high. Weekly. Balance. It's a two-week balance right now. The lower we go, the bigger the balance will get incorporated. If we get accepted back into this whole mess well then the ultimate destination is the bottom of that balance which is 451 actually 448.92 which is a monthly low then things could get interesting if we get down there but not yet so balance on the weekly with a possible outside week down depending on how we close friday maybe an outside week up and now here's the daily a lot of people called this balance yesterday. I called it up because we made the high. Now, even though we ripped down today, I'm still calling this balance. I'm going to incorporate this. Here's the gap. So this is how I'm looking at the daily. If we take out today's low tomorrow, we will certainly be down in the daily. But if we trade inside of today's range, it's balance. I'm going to incorporate this whole thing as a balance right now. Basically, today's low and yesterday's high. That's a pretty big balance now, 480 to 468. It's a $12 balance. Remember, last week's range <clears throat> was only $7. We have $12 range in two days, okay? So I'm going to call balance, but if we take out today's low, no matter by whatever we take it out, the daily would be then to down. We close below the 20-day uh, moving average. We're above the 50-day moving average right now by mm, two and a half dollars. Hope you had a good day trading. At least we have a great start to the month as far as range and volume go. 
Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Have a great night, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.